Based on this piece, it's evident that there was a taste in Byzantium for flashy jewellery in the 5th or 6th century AD, i.e. about 1,500 years ago. Because this is seriously flashy. It's made of solid gold and has this extraordinary open-work bracelet to it. It's the cutout and detail of the open-work bracelet that I think makes it so special. If you look carefully, either side of the central round wall are cutouts of lions. And if Walt Disney didn't base the Lion King on these cutouts, I don't know what he did, because they are surprisingly dozy-looking and amicable lions and are, I think, a delight. Next to that is a botany cross, and next door to that is a similar Walt Disney, rather dozy-looking peacock. A peacock that's looking behind it at its luxuriant tail. Then we have a hinge, and then on the return run, another peacock and another lion. The piece is centred by this roundel. And what's fun about this is, if you look at it sideways on, there are some pellets, and then an open work section, so that when you look at the roundel from the top, Light is coming in from the sides, because it's open on the sides, and that means that the botany cross on which it is centred is illuminated from behind, which makes it visually much more interesting. And of course the botany cross is the cross that has these little trefoil, warty bits, on the top. In short, the girl that was wearing this in Constantinople 1500 years ago looked very much the part. What would the part cost you today? Well, in the timeline auction, this spectacular bracelet is estimated at four to six thousand pounds. Modest, I'd say.